out here on Lake Sammamish today behind our beautiful 24-foot uh, uh, Centurion Enzo. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how we weight our boats. You can see we have this big Enzo fat sack in here that's plumbed directly into our uh, system with a, a tsunami pump to add an assist. Um, if you notice in the back back here, you can see that our uh, swim step is underwater a little bit. That's going to uh, really make our wake just perfect. I've noticed a lot of boats out on the water not really weighting their boats properly, and you'll never really get a good uh, surf wake if you don't. So take time to weight it. We're going to go out and uh, learn some uh, beginning tips here with Corey. Hi, I'm Corey from California visiting Bellevue, and today we're going to go out wake surfing and show you how to get up on a wake surfer. Okay, we have uh, Corey sitting in the water. You know that she's kind of laying out flat with her heels on the edge of the board. At this time, she's going to press down with her heels and the board will flip up. And as it flips up, the boat will accelerate up to a slow speed. At this time, it's really important that Corey pulls away from the waves so she doesn't get caught in the white water. Notice as she waits until the wave shapes up, she'll move into the sweet spot and she'll get ready to throw the rope. Now you can either throw the rope off to the right or back into the boat. Sometimes with beginners, we like to throw it off to the right so they won't fall. As you can see, Corey's riding right in the sweet spot. That's just off to the side of the boat. Thank you for joining us. This is how to uh, get up on a wake surfboard with Inland Surfer.